Black holes are all there, but what are they? An object in motion has energy. One is due to its motion from one location to another. It is kinetic energy, which is equal to half the mass times the speed power two. Another one is called gravitational potential energy, which is due to its position in the gravitational field. It is equal to the opposite of the gravitational constant times the mass of the object to be escaped times the mass of the body x divided by the distance between the centers of mass. Because of gravity, when you launch an object from Earth, it may return when being in motion in a parabolic trajectory. Indeed, with enough power, it can escape its gravity. The necessary speed is called escape velocity. If kinetic energy of an object launched from Earth were equal in magnitude to its potential energy, then in absence of friction resistance, it could leave the Earth behind. The escape velocity is then equal to the square root of 2 times capital M times capital G divided by R. For Earth, it is equal to 11.2 km per second. Now, suppose if there is an important a planet as massive as the sun, but with a mean radius which is equal to 1 km. The escape velocity is then 515,000 km per second, which is much greater than the speed of light. So according to Einstein's theory, if you are there, nothing but even light can escape. That's one of the possible definitions of a black hole. A black hole is an object so compact, in other words, with enough mass in a small enough volume, that its gravitational force is strong enough to prevent even light or anything else from escaping. It bends light to a kaleidoscopic effect called gravitational lensing, it works place and distorts time. Black holes have been layers. One of them is the event horizon. Once a particle crosses it, it cannot return. The surface of the Schwarzschild radius acts as an event horizon, at which the escape velocity reaches its maximum limit. Thus, the Schwarzschild radius is equal to 2 times capital M times capital G divided by the speed of light power 2. That's why Earth would become a black hole if compressed to the size of a marble, which radius is equal to 8.86 mm. Another layer is singularity, a single point where huge mass is concentrated in an infinitely small space, where gravity and density become infinite, and space-time curves infinite. In fact, when you fall into a black hole, gravity would treat you like spaghetti. The process is called spaghettification. Some studies suggest that the event horizon would act much like fire, burning anyone to death. Sirius A, which appears at the center of Milky Way galaxy, is a supermassive black hole. Three millions of times heavier than our sun. Now suppose if three black holes get close so that they can't escape each other's gravity, they will spiral toward each other and merge so as to become one bigger black hole. A black hole merger will produce energy and send massive ripples to the space time fabric of the universe. These ripples are called gravitational waves. Even now, scientists cannot answer the question what is a black hole. There must be a law being used by these black holes that we just don't understand it yet.